Today I want to talk to you about the email that freaks out a lot of sellers, but it really it shouldn't. It's all about the holiday selling guidelines. And a lot of times when new sellers get that email, they freak out a lot, but it's, it's nothing to freak out at. Um, one of the, my biggest tips is to always read every word of every email that Amazon sends you. Um, I've heard someone say this before, um, that, that Amazon does a really good job of burying the lead. And what that means is like they put the most important thing kind of somewhere in the middle of, of their emails that they send you. It's not like the headline. It's not like the first paragraph. They kind of bury the most important thing somewhere in the middle. So a lot of times when you get an email, you need to read it all. And so when you get that email from Amazon saying, you know, holiday toy selling guidelines, it, it, it kind of freaks you out because it says, you know, sellers who can, who can be approved to sell toys during the holiday selling season, which we call it Q4, um, have to have a certain number of criteria to be completed by November 17th. And so some of them really freak some people out. Like one of them is you have to have your very first sale on Amazon before September 19th. And some people are like, I haven't had my first sale yet. Does that mean I'm disqualified for selling toys during Christmas? I mean, selling toys during Christmas, that's where the money is, right? So people freak out about that. Other time, Another qualification Amazon has is that you need to have 25 orders um, sold between September 1st and October 31st. And some people are like, I don't know if I've got 25 yet. Uh, and then there's all the, the different types of performance ratings. You need to have a cancel rate, no greater than 1.75%, a late order rate, no greater than 4%, a order defect rate, no greater than 1%. And you're like, oh my, I don't know how to figure this out. Well, first of all, there is a performance tab in Seller Central where you can find this out. But right in the middle of that email, there's this little line that says, all sellers who are involved and participating in the Fulfillment by Amazon program are exempt from this restriction, We're exempt from this these guidelines. So I'm full-time FBA, I sell FBA. I know some of you are full-time FBA, some of you are part-time FBA. But if you're selling Amazon FBA, you are exempt from this. If you have items at Amazon that are toys that are, uh, you know, that don't have any other type of restrictions, you can sell toys during Q4, during the holiday selling season, even if your first sale came after September 19th, even if you didn't do 25 orders uh, during September 1st to October 31st. If you have FBA, a FBA account, you have FBA items in your inventory at Amazon warehouses, those are are going to be fine. Um, but if you are deciding that you want to do any merchant fulfill uh, during you know, December or any time after uh, November 17th, then you need to have these these issues approved. But if you're selling FBA, you're fine. So if you are interested in selling merchant fulfilled items uh, during the month of December before Christmas time, then you need to make sure that you have these taken care of. Um, and you know what? The, the the first two weeks of December are really the only time I actually merchant fulfill. Actually, not even the first week. The second and third week of December is the only time I merchant fulfill if I think that I can sell it faster from home, it's a small enough, lightweight enough item that it's not a big deal to ship it out. And if I think that, you know, I, I mean, I, I can sell it fast enough that it sells, I don't have to wait for it to move to an Amazon warehouse and then go live and then get the sale. So if I can sell it fast enough uh, and don't mind taking care of the shipping and, and processing the order myself, then I'll merchant fulfill during the, the second and third week of December. But that's just a tiny portion of, of my inventory. The rest of my inventory, 99.9% .9 of my inventory is in an Amazon warehouse. And if you get that email from Amazon talking about holiday toy selling guidelines, as long as you're selling FBA, you're fine. You don't have to worry about it. You're going to be okay to sell toys during Q4. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Uh, below, you can give us a thumbs up, a comment, or a question, or you can find any of the links that we talked about in the description below. And as always, come hang out with us at our blog, Full Time fba.com when you subscribe you get a couple free pdf downloads to help your amazon journey become that much easier i want to help you so come hang out with us fulltimefba.com god bless have a great day bye